Hey everyone, so this video is me a haul. I went shopping this weekend with my family. We had to run some errands, we went to the mall, we went to a bunch of different places. And this is just gonna be everything that I got. Now I feel like I've been recording a lot of hauls lately, but I did have another video planned out to record in my bathroom, but the lighting was really off, so I knew if I wanted to do a video, I'd have to record it downstairs, and I figured I would just do a haul, why not? I did get some cool things, but these things are very, very random. Like, I'm looking at it all in front of me, and there's like no theme, it's just a bunch of different random things I wanted to try, and I picked up, so I will start with Walmart first. First I got the Ever Straight Brazilian Keratin Therapy Conditioner and Shampoo. Now this is from the Organics line and actually there was a customer in the aisle when I was looking at these and she said that she uses the conditioner and she absolutely loves it and she showed me her hair. It was like up and then she let it down and it looked so nice. Like her hair looked wonderful and I'm like I have to pick these up. Hopefully I like them and I have used it twice already. I used it two times in a row. Like I washed my hair one night and then skipped a day and then I washed it again and I felt like my hair felt very, very dry. Like my ends felt weak so I was like okay this is going to be a problem because I know if you have too much keratin in your hair your hair can get very dry but it was weird because when I washed the conditioner out my hair felt so soft and like wonderful but when, once my hair started to dry I felt like my ends felt very weak so hopefully maybe if I spread out how often I use this I'll end up really liking it but um, I'll definitely do an update on these if I do end up liking it or really hating it and then the other thing I got from Walmart was this hair off instant eyebrow shaper now I don't really know why I picked this up it was kind of like a spur of the moment decision we were checking out and I was like, you know what, let's try this out as I drop it. So this is what it looks like. It was like on the end cap. We're like, why not give it a try? There are these little strips. I guess there are these clear strips. You just put them on your eyebrows and I guess it's like at home waxing or there's not really wax, but it's like, I guess that general concept of removing the hair. I don't really know what's it going to do, how's it going to work, but it is worth a try. Maybe I'll do an update if I really like these things or if they're just a waste, but I always saw them and I was like, why not give it a try? You also get an eyebrow pencil, but I don't pencil in my eyebrows. No one in my family does, so no one's going to use this, but that was a cool concept. And then I got some stuff at Target. First, I got the number seven advanced renewal anti-aging glycolic peel. Now, I record kind of follow me around vlogs on my second channel, Honey Flower 3 on the go, and I showed this, and someone was like, you have to pick it up. I absolutely love it. So the next time I went into Target, I ended up getting it. I've used it once already, and I'm a little worried that the glycolic level is a little too low for my skin because I have gotten a facial done before, and they used the peel at the end, and she's like, wow, your skin isn't red or anything from it, and I had no, like, reaction which I mean not that you want your face to get red but like it almost didn't make a difference on my skin the glycolic peel because it was so low the level and since this is only 7% I'm worried I'm not going to really see results from this product but I used it once already and it was nice so I'm going to give it another try maybe I'll try using it more often so I can see if I see more results from it or whatever I'll definitely do an update though in a couple of weeks once I can really give it a full kind of review and try it out I also got a Sally Hansen Salon Effects in the color 340 Girl Flower. It was a really fun one. I thought it would be great for spring. But now the last Sally Hansen Salon Effects I got was a solid, bright, hot pink color. And I was so excited to try it out. But can I tell you, that was the biggest disaster ever. I did a whole blog post on it. I will link that down below. But hopefully I don't have any problems with this one because I thought it was so fun and perfect for springtime. And then we went to the mall and I went to Claire's because I had to pick up earrings for my little giveaway. I will link that video down below. I got Claire's jewelry sent to me and I did a whole prom themed video on it and then I wanted to pick up earrings to give away to one person and that contest is still going on so like I said I'll link that down below. And I ended up picking up some jewelry for myself. First I got this ring. Now I've been looking for a ring that goes over two fingers forever and I love this one. I love that it's adjustable so if you need to make it tighter or looser you can. And can I tell you it's really high quality. Like when I showed it to Issa she's like that looks really flimsy but when you feel it it's really a sturdy quality ring and I just love it. It has like a little vintage antique look to it and it's just a bow. There were so many other cute rings there I'm definitely going to go back and pick up a few more. And I also got these really cute earrings. They're little roses. They look like they're blooming. I love the color to them. They're so cute. I love them. And that was all the jewelry I got from Claire's. And while I was in Claire's, my sister and my mom were in Ann Taylor. So I went and met them there. 
And Issa got a bunch of cool clothes for work. She got a lot of cute stuff and they were having a 40% off sale. And my mom ended up picking out this sweater for me. And it was the best price ever. You'll never believe how cheap it was. If you follow me on Twitter, you know what, how much it costs. But it was only $6. So it has these really nice buttons that go all the way down. And it has this high neckline. And then it kind of falls and drapes. And then I love the sides because you can either have it as long sleeves or there's a button and then you can make them three quarter sleeves. And for $6, I could not pass this up. I love sweaters. I thought it was so cute. It was very me and an amazing deal. And then the last thing I got, like I said, this video was so random. I got a Nike iPod workout thing. I don't work out ever. Like, ever really. It's really bad. I always say I'm going to. I always say I have motivation. But... I never really do. So I wanted to get this because it monitors your workout. I'm not really sure what else it does, but I know on my iPhone I have the Nike iPod app thing that you normally would have to buy, but I don't know. I'm not really sure what this should do or what it's supposed to do. If any of you guys have this, let me know in the comments. I'm pretty sure it just monitors your workout and like you either connect this to your shoe or to your shoulder and you can um, run and then upload your workout progress and all your results to the computer and monitor the whole thing. I don't know, it was $29, but then it was on sale. We had a coupon, so I was like, you know what, let me try it. it. Seems like a good idea. But like I said, I never work out, it's so bad. Everyone wants me to do a kind of how I got in shape video because I have lost weight since I've been home from school and that's just it. The weight I've lost has been the weight that I put on while I went away to college. I'm home now, like I've said before. So there's not gonna be really much if I made a whole video about it because I'm back to my normal weight. It's not like I've lost more weight than normal. But if I ever do go on a diet or get in shape, I will probably do a video on it, maybe, I don't know. But like people want me to talk about my weight loss and it's literally just that. It was the difference between going away to school and eating junk food and being home and eating healthy food. That's the only difference. You know, if you eat healthy and you watch what you eat, you'll be fine. That's just how I got back to my normal weight. I'm not any skinnier than I was when I started making videos. I'm just skinnier than I was when I went away to college, so. That's kind of it I wanted to say, everything I got, and I will probably list everything on my blog, and I will put links to where you can buy these products, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.